My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire modded again with Mod the Spire base mod, Replay the Spire, the Construct always well, and Fetch mod. It's time to go into the Construct again. Transformer card is actually appealing. Transform one of the cards. Oh no, actually, it's this. Definitely, right? Yeah. Yeah, it totally is. Why? Because we've got a shop, like in the second space. I'm not going to play the attack mode because I am going to need occasional defenses here. Speaking of occasional defenses, there we go. Had to play them to cancel them one another out there. Yeah, we're going to be taking some damage in this one. <clears throat> See, I have to defense mode, triple defend, and then attack mode so that I can still draw my strikes. Balance can be a little difficult to strike in the early game. Mega upgraded auto turret cycle deck is a thing. I'm actually going to wait. Go to the shop and see if there's anything here that will define my run for me. So, here we have the tag bag. Shops have all three kinds of card, or it's all three kinds of sale tags. Sales can also appear on colorless cards, and on sale cards are cheaper. The sale tags are the two for one, the special edition where the card comes pre upgraded, and I think the other one is just like a mega sale, so it just lowers the cost heavily. Uh, we've also got Rocket Booster. Whenever you defeat an elite, upgrade a random card. We're definitely going to be taking that. So, crumbs. I guess I'm not taking anything else. Well, make a copy of a non-rare card in your draw pile. It's interesting. Upgraded version is just make one more copy. Well, not wait, make one more copy. In fact, it doesn't need to do that. We're going to have some difficulty here in the early game, rather. Hmm. Good. Thank you for giving me my strikes. Yeah, it depends on the elites, because we still don't have a card to define our run. So this is plated armor. When it says armor, gain block at the end of each turn, reduce when you take unblocked attack damage. That's plated armor, right? Didn't this used to be metallicize effect? So it was gain one metallicize? Because I was actually thinking of picking this up. But with that effect, no. Especially because it's only getting increased like, you know, 8 and 4 or something like that. Shift Strike is probably going to take the exact same path that normal strike, uh, sorry, that uh, the attack mode does. So it'll go from that to gain 5 strength, lose 5 decks. Mode Shift, I don't know what it's going to do. And you know what? Mode Shift is a setup for a deck as well. Let's go. Triple Defend. 14 damage coming in. I want none of it. Probably transitioned a little too early there, in fact. Ah, never mind. It looks like I may have chosen the right time, actually. Whew. And strike for the kill. Cool. Still not really seeing it. That is to say, any card that I want to mega upgrade. Remove a card from my deck. I mean, I think I removed strikes. Maybe attack mode. Because the whole idea is I, I defend, I get a ridiculous amount of defense. I just continue defending, continue defending, and then I mode shift and suddenly kill with a single strike. But the problem is that's not going to stand up against the gremlin knob. So I'm actually terrified of removing anything here. I think I'm actually going to remove a defend. Because if the next space is the gremlin knob, we're dead if we don't do that. Yeah. This fight is pretty much impossible to lose, though. Okay, 
Defense mode. Sure. So we're going to cycle all of our strikes. It's just going to get us back to these defends. This is going to be a long fight. Get ready. The enemy's not going to be able to deal damage, but until we have a very specific... Oh, gosh. That's, that's not doing anything. And I could mode shift. No, but then I'll take a bunch of damage next turn. Sure. The idea here is just get my defense to be ridiculous. And then suddenly turn around and blow the enemy up. And it is going to take a while. It'll work eventually. It's gonna take a while. So what, I can roughly expect to defend mode probably two times per three moves from the enemy. Oh, this is rough. <sighs> Swap your strength and dex. So I'll have 15 strength, right. Negative 21 things, sure. Ugh. There we go. Perfect amount of block, by the way. Another defense mode. And we can defend with a single defend at this point. It's excellent. This number effectively needs to be just shy of the enemy's like entire HP pool. So 23. Oh god, this is gonna take like ages. Thank heck we've got this fight rather than you know the lug of all in. Like not the lug of all, I mean this is the lug of all. Uh, thank heck we've got this fight rather than Gremlin Knob, because the Gremlin Knob would have already bashed our face in. Okay. Oh, didn't play the defense mode, that's my bad. Yeah, we probably just missed out on playing a defense mode for that cycle. Okay. So we can have six by base, right? Damage on the strike, that is. So that's 36 damage that a strike would deal at the moment with the mode shifts. We need it to the point where we can mode shift and then like triple strike will kill. It's actually not difficult to find that space. It's on a second turn. If we have mode shift in this hand, it'll do it. That'll do it. So you play defense mode, we defend, then we're going to mode shift and then strike. And now anything that's not a strike is going to be thrown away. So we're definitely going to have three strikes and we'll kill. Attack mode got upgraded, really. Gremlin horn, whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. Tumble, draw three cards for each one that cycles game three. Mm, not really. Mass production? Do I want to mass produce anything? Again, not really. At least not yet. I think I pass. Yeah. It's a shame because I want to take on as many elites as possible, but I think 
I think I've actually got a mega upgrade attack mode here. I think if I don't do that, I'm going to have a lot of difficulty against certain elites. This elite is fine. This elite, I can do the exact same thing I was doing last time. Mm. I mean, try three times. Defense mode. So they start cycling my attacks. Bit more damage here than I wanted to take. That's fine. Of course, the defends are actually going to interfere with this kind of significantly. The dazeds, rather. See what I mean? That's actually going to be a huge problem. I hadn't even thought about the days. I think we might lose. I think I might have just screwed us. I think I have. Oh, this is this is this is really bad. Ah, oh, that was dumb. That was dumb on my part. At least we have always whale installed. So once we lose here, which is becoming a foregone conclusion, uh, we'll be fine. We can just go immediately back into another run. I can make mode shift retain. That would actually be excellent. Goddamn dazed. You sentry bastards. That's most of my defense in my deck as well. So we only have one defend left in the deck. We need to draw exactly it. Oh. Yep, that's us dead. I really want to hunt as many leads as possible so I can get the rocket booster to start mega upgrading cards for me. That's basically what I wanted. Oh well, let's try again, shall we? Come on and remove two cards for eight max HP is ridiculous. Remove one of each. While I do want to go to as many leads as possible, I also want to get a shot. I, I guess I can decide here, right? Whether or not I go for the double upgrades or another elite. Sure. Actually going to start this fight in attack mode. It's not a kill. Because worst, uh, worst case scenario... Given the cards that were still left in our deck, we were going to be able to shuffle back. All right. I, I still want to make a mode shift deck. I still think that's super interesting. Until I get and play in an attack mode, I'm not going to be able to do anything but defend, but it's fine. Awesome. And that would kill the last in front line. All right. Hazard proof sweep laser. If you have artifacting, I think you deny the negative effect from the mode shift. I'm going to take hazard proof as well. We should test that. That's hazard proof, then mode shift. Yeah, I just moved my dex value, uh, my strength value to my dex value. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. 
it's a nice setup, but what am I going to do with it is basically a big question. That sounds nice in practice, but how is it in theory? Sure, let's roll for the extra damage right now. And just finish more. Cool. <sighs> Four scores handy. It's always kind of nice to have. Gain two decks until the end of your turn. See, that also gives you a debuff that removes the decks at the end of the turn. So you can't just gain a bunch of decks and then swap it into strength and it'll stay. Well, it will stay as the strength, but then you'll lose a bunch of decks afterwards. Four score. Nope. Probably none of these as well. I don't, I just don't know how I'm going to make this deck work. I just don't know what I'm going to do in it. And if you gain strength or decks, deal one damage to work. We just did a zapper deck though. And I'm not going to do it often. It's just when I do it, it's going to be impactful. Scope call is pretty good though. I can't take that and remove a card, and I should remove a card. That's fine. Prioritize removal, though. So I'm probably not going to be able to fight anything with this at the moment, so I'm going to have to go do some upgrades. I'm going to upgrade mode shift because I want to get it to its mega upgrade as soon as it's humanly possible. So if I... What do I want to do? If I hazard proof, then attack mode, I get two strength. If I ha attack mode, hazard proof, mode shift, I get two strength, two dex. Same if I do it with anything else, in fact. That leaves me with a defense mode in hands. I guess I can play. Look at the cycle, thank you. Another the defense mode, my cycle's increased now because I'm not gonna have any strikes. And I can hazard proof mode shift and perfect. Now I've got six and six. So this is just about raising my core statistics, I guess, just to constantly. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad idea. I mean, eventually we get to the point where nothing will ever be able to touch us as long as we ever play a card. Which is intriguing. All right, two strikes will kill next round. Whee! The setup takes ages, though. Ancient T said at the... Uh, whenever you went to a rest site, start the next combo with two extra energy, as well as... The clock becomes zero. Scrap cannon becomes one. Uh, I don't really want any of those again. Okay, what is the mega upgrade of mode shift? Retain, and it draws two. Okay, that's insane now. We can plan around when we use it. Or a Calcum, if you end your turn without block gain, six block. And I'm actually just going to go over this way and get two more upgrades. Rather than actually fighting any elites here.
Unfortunately, I have to use this to negate a weaken. Obviously, should have done that in a different order. Easy mode shift. And once more, keep that HP. Mm. Retain the mode shift. Of course, I do need the artifacting. Hazard proof mode shift. Hazard proof again. Ah, if I just double struck there, we've got lethal. I've got to keep in mind that, you know, the aim of the game is not to get ridiculous stats. It's to kill the enemies. Shield burst. Lose all of your block. Deal twice that much damage to all enemies. Upgrade three times that much to all enemies. That's what I wanted to build the deck around for ages. Mode shift doesn't really... I'm taking it. I'm taking it because I wanted it for so long. Playing mode shift just to draw cards here. Huh. Sweet lazy for the kill there. And then manually kill that one. Single defense. Easy. Quite happy with how that ended up, actually. Mm -hmm. None of those are going to go in this deck. Thank you. <sighs> Crumbs. Six. It's now 16 to all enemies. Pretty good, actually. Fine. And Auric Alchem is actually around to give me some defense after I do that. Which is awfully kind of it. <laughs> Shield burst for none. Hell yeah. A steroid potion as well as anticipate analyze scrap cannon. No thank you. Let's mega upgrade the shield burst. Lose all your block and deal three much. So, hang on. What's the upgrade? Upgrade? Comes zero cost. Uh, it's actually not as effective as I thought it was going to be. Definitely going to play a defense. I'm actually just mode shifting for the draw right now. Mm-hmm. Let's... Mm. Can I kill this turn? Yeah, I can. Barry in a bottle as well as overcharge. I don't want the burns though because we are going to heavy cycle. Charge shot and scrap cannon. No. I also want to mega upgrade the hazard proof because then I get three artifacts from it each time I play it. So I'll have to play it less often. I also need to upgrade these attack and defense modes so that I'm actually getting a better effect out of the mode shift every single time I play it. Uh, I think the, I think the first mega upgrade is going to be on defense mode. And frankly, I think I may have been mishandling it to have not already done that. All right, I'm going to hazard proof and steroid potion here. That's going to keep that strength. Well, attack mode, mode shift, defense mode, and then I've got two defends for 15. Only one damage on response. Maximum defense I could get that turn, unfortunately. It's fine. We can retain that mode shift for a while. There's the hazard proof we were looking for. Easy. Easy. That said, with the shield burst in my deck, it feels like I shouldn't even have the mode shift. Like, I should just focus on gaining a bunch of defense and then use that exclusively. 
And it's hard to argue. It's hard to argue against that. Okay, we'll... Defense mode has proof mode shift. 19 and 19, defended strike. I mean, two defense is keeping me safe this turn anyway. <clears throat> defense. Yeah, shield burst. <clears throat> For 85 damage seems good to me. Milkshake, you can retain up to five energy between each turn of combat. Mass production, meltdown, and shield form. So Siege form, rather. Siege form, gain two strength until the end of the turn. Eh, it doesn't even lower its cost, unfortunately. No. Meltdown, deal 15 damage to all enemies and add two burns to your hand. And eh, no. Mass production, mega upgrades cost one. But what would I even do with it? Just give myself a bunch of defense modes? Bunch of hazard proofs? When would I find the time to play it? It would, never, it would basically need to be mega upgraded before I can play it. Why would I introduce it into my deck if I, it, it's just heavier upgrade cost for us? Um, Honey Jar is from Replay the Spire. Draw one more card a turn. Retain up to one card each turn. Extra choice on card rewards, but you cannot skip any card rewards, which is immediately what's going to kill it for me. I'm going to take a Ring of Chaos again. Some cards have randomly altered stats and effects. We had one of these last episode. So right now I'm basically just looking for a path that has the most upgrades. I actually don't even care about how many elites it has. I care about how many upgrade paths it has. Three versus three maximum. This has an early shop as well. Wait, hang on, did I just? No, I didn't, cool. I was just checking if I hardcore beef that one. I did not, as it turns out. So I have to play the defense mode before the hazard proof. So I can get as much defense out of that as humanly possible for us. That said, I could have just had Oracle come defend me. Hmm. Forgot about the shield burst. Defense mode. Play the double defense and then kill him. Okay, Fierce Bash has had its cost change, so is Anticipate and Versatility. Anticipate 23 block next turn. Versatility gains you block or deals damage. That's actually worse. And Fierce Bash gets retain on the upgrade. I don't really want that either. I could have played in attack mode first, but let's be real. It's not going to matter. The whole point of this deck is that I'm just going to gain ridiculous amounts of block. And then shield burst. This whole mode shift thing just doesn't really fit into this deck right now. Take some damage that turn, unfortunately. Okay, is this? It's not. I should have counted that. Hmm. That'll be fine, though. Just murder with the actual strikes. Sweet Blazer back up. Choose a non rare card from your hand. Add four of it to your draw pile. Upgrades to be retained. 
No. Again, there's just nothing I really want more than more shield bursts. <sighs> I'm kind of mad because I know there's a mode shift deck. It's just this is not it at all. I really wanted to do that deck. Got to defense mode before I play the hazard proof here. Primarily just because I want the block. Mm -hmm. And finally, we should be able to polish off with a yep, defense mode. That, 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 that's. All right. Another change. Analyze. Next turn, gain an energy and draw a more card. Gain two energy and draw two more cards. That's actually pretty good at this point. For being zero cost, it's actually, it's actually quite good. Sure. Stasis. Exhaust a card. Next time you play this, add two mega upgraded. And the upgraded version is innate retain exhaust a card. The next time you play this, gain three mega upgraded card, uh, copies of that card to your hand. I don't know if I want that. Chameleon ring. You can now brew at rest sites. Your cards are more potent. I, it's really difficult for me to tell what I want anymore because I think it's just defensive cards. We gain three strength at the start of each combat. Uh, we lose one strength over the next three turns as well as the pet ghost that a ghost card to your hand every single turn. There's just basic strikes, basic defense that are exhaust ethereal as well as a fetch in order to get a basic card from your deck. I think it's just card removal. And save my money for later. Grab the gold, don't want the dagger. Okay. Two extra cards, two extra energy this turn as well. Okay. Obviously I should have struck first, but the sequencing with this character is just a little bit uh, frustrating. I'm going to analyze and I'm going to hazard proof, but I'm not going to play mode shift here. Now, the primary reasoning behind that is I want my strength to be negative right now. All I want to do is get a ridiculously high dex. Eh, go. Because then I shield burst for all of my damage. I mean, like, what's it now? It's 77? Not bad. One, th I mean, we're just short of lethal with it now. If I play the mode shift and the attack mode, then I will gain 11, 13, 13 strength. So I'll be dealing 14 more damage with this enough. It's enough to kill. On scales, it's start of each turn, gain, oh, sorry, it's start of each combat, gain three thorns. As well as a bunch of cards I don't want. Mega upgrade for tumble is draw seven cards for one energy? Oh, shucks. That's insane. Guard two cards, draw two cards, and lowers its cost as well. But lowers its cost, and you choose the cards that you 
discard. And overcharge, we already know it's mega upgrade from a couple episodes ago. I'm going to drop the milkshake. Could have easily used a power potion that turn, in fact. Defense mode, double defend. Obviously should have done the double strike first, but again, like everyone will die to the shield burst. Like these are very, very small things. Yes, I'm screwing them up, but they're tiny in the grand scheme of things. So if I swap this, I would have 10 more damage, 54, it's not enough. Oh, guess I'm waiting then. And taking some damage along the way. Hell yeah. Art of War would be really good for this deck. Okay, defense mode analyze. We'll triple defend. And then if I mode shift attack form, yeah, we've got... I mean, I can actually just play the shield burst for the kill, but... A couple other ways to do that as well. More than one way to skill, uh, skin a cat. Reinforce is actually a really great way to pick up a lot of block when you have a lot of defense. A uh, lot of dex, rather. Crippling Shot has had its cost lowered. Same as we've seen last time. I'll take a reinforce. Shield burst costing zero is actually not as huge. It has to be defense mode first. Which is so boring, but it has to be. Art of War, if you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain an extra energy next turn. That, I just said I wanted that. Thank you. It sounds like I'm mad about it, but I'm just, I'm flabbergasted, frankly. Uh, let's analyze again. I think I might have lethal. Yeah. Essence of Steel, gain four plated armor. It's probably not a great idea for me. It's a heavy bolt with a reduced cost there, but again, not really anything we want. Okay, here I'm gonna attack mode mode shift, and I'm basically just looking for defensive cards. Cool. That was a good fight. Metal Shell. Ooh. No, I didn't want to take it. Oh, it had a cost lowered to zero. I wasn't going to take it, though. Oh, it upgrades to become Metallicize. Interesting. I wasn't going to take it. I was probably going to take the Hazard Proof, actually. Damn it. Um, we need to upgrade these reinforcers. Sure. Oh, try me. I shouldn't have even played that attack, frankly. I just lowered my ability to do stuff this turn, courtesy of the Art of War. I did that effectively for the draw, if you're wondering. And then blow him up with the Shield Burst. Shield Burst does way, way too much damage. It's insane. Um, hazard. Defend myself ridiculously. Get him. Defense my defend. Analyze. Yeah, I'm shield burst. I'm not being attacked this turn, so I may as well. Metal shell. Defense. Defense. I mean, like, I could attack, but again, it's not necessary. All of these hits are so small compared to shield burst. Force field is retain and gain... 
12 and 14. It's the, the values aren't there. Critical hit. Does a lot more damage, but it costs way too much. Also, we don't deal damage that way. And sweep laser. We don't deal damage that way either. Seven times. If we ever have that in the same hand as our shield burst, we basically just win. I mean, I'll deal 86 damage this turn, sure. If you desperately want me to. I can attack there. But again, it pales in comparison. Wheel. <sighs> Analyze is going to be handy. We're actually going to be weakened. Come on. All right. Well, ain't that funny. Shield burst wouldn't kill. It was a better ordering to do that in, but again, it's really not going to matter. All right, there's our reinforce and shield burst. Let's just play all of those, then mode shifts, then... Yeah, 331. Pretty reasonable. Second venom potion is not necessary. A hasty repair upgraded to deal twice. Oh, that's... Got twice the positive effects for twice the cost. Don't need it, but it is interesting. Slimed. Don't want him. I think my deck is already defined. I'm going to take the Busted Crown for extra energy. My deck is basically defined to the point that I just want to remove cards and upgrade the cards I have. There's a path with two midline rests and, and a lot of question marks and also two elites. That's the one we're going to go on. Defense mode has mode shifts. Reinforce shield burst. Few cards we have in our deck, the... Nope. Few cards we have in the deck, the higher chance we get shield burst as... Oh my god! Arrowhead, you may upgrade two cards whenever you smith. Yeah. Take that, remove another card. Every single time we remove a card, we're increasing the chance that we get the reinforce and the shield burst in the same hand, and that's all we really care about. I'm not actually going to take anything else. There's a possibility we get a shop later on and I get to remove another card. I mean, if it'll kill, it'll kill. Versatility, no thank you. Yep, definitely fight for a rare relic. You can't stop me from taking this rare relic. How dare you try? Most of our big combo pieces are still left in our deck. Unfortunately, we've also got a burn and two dazes in there now. Damn, didn't get him in the right turn. Oh well. Mm, yeah, they're putting a lot of garbage in my deck, which is actually going to be a problem. Yeah. Take a pretty ridiculous amount of damage there, unfortunately.
This is not good. The fact that every single turn they're doing the burns and the other things is 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 really bad. Like almost indescribably bad. People trashing my deck is not really a thing I can come back from. I think I may have lost. This is insane. There we go. Fairy Potion brings us back, kills the enemy. There's a Durian. At the start of your turn, reduce your weak, frail, and vulnerability to two on pickup. Raise your max HP by five, as well as a potion. Uh, disrupt, gain 18 block enemy, loses eight strength. Comes six to eight. What's our final boss? It's not done to a Decker. Actually pretty perplexed by that last fight. The fact that putting trash in my deck just immediately kills me is uh, terrifying. Terrifying is the only one I can think of. Especially considering right now we will win next turn. Like it's not difficult for us to win. We have no problem with it, in fact. It's just trashing our deck is the worst thing that could ever happen. Mega upgrade that, and... By the way, I'm aware that I could now cancel and just go back to rest, but... No. You can upgrade two cards whenever you smith. It's supposed to be done this way. Oh my god! Look, the bug currently exists in the game. This is my incredibly polite way of saying evil penguin. Astro Penguin, Evil Pickle, I mean. Different people. Um, this is a thing that's possible. Oh, you can mega upgrade the defense. That's cool. <laughs> I suppose this is just due to the limitations of working with the currently implemented resting and smithing system. But sure. Hey, I'm not competing against anyone. While this exists, I may as well. There we go. Upgraded all the cards. Now let's rest. <laughs> hmm. Excellent. Please don't get the right card this time. Never mind, shield burst turned up. Of course it did. <sighs> has proof defense. Yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> uh. I think I reinforced mode shift and I'm just looking to draw the... Didn't get it. That's really well. I was looking to draw the shield burst that turn. Unfortunately, I keep getting shield burst on the turn where my enemy is in tangible. So I'm using this turn to try and set up a later turn, right? By analyzing. God damn it. 
a lot of defense at least. A lot of metallicize. Come on, Nemesis. Oh my god! Mode shifts, get it. Go! Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna get the the shield explosion this turn, aren't we? We did, yeah, shield burst right now. Every time the enemy's intangible. This is the game getting mad at me for the fact that I broke the game. I'm sorry, game. It was too appealing not to. Shield burst gain, because of course it is. Enemies intangible. I could only deal one damage this turn. Eventually, my whole deck is going to be burns, and we will probably lose. Enemy's no longer intangible this turn. Just watch. Just you watch. Shield burst in this hand. No? Oh, hell yes. We have a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Never mind. Didn't get shield burst in this hand, though, and it's guaranteed to be in the next hand. Okay, finally, we got it. Just watch as I get no defense. <laughs> I am so, so mad right now. I am mad beyond the point of words. It's mode shift, strike for one. Of course, that's all we can do. Starting to feel like the game's trying to make a point here. When I occasionally, I try not to do it often, complain about Bayard RNG, I should remember this moment. Because I don't know if I'll ever get RNG as bad as this. a strike just a single oh okay am i dead i think i'm dead now I have a power that can save me being damaged to all enemies oh. i'm gonna do it ladies and gentlemen that's what you get for trying to cheat the game the game cheats you right back three times in a row I got shield burst only on the turns where my enemy is intangible. Two times in a row after that, I got shield burst on the turn where my enemy was not intangible, but I had no defense. I am going to go cry for a while now. My name is Finn Rhapsody, the name of the game is being slayed this morning. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you <laughs> next time.